Okay. So, Red is 90 kilos. He weighs... He is uh, 6 foot in height, which, assuming a 20%, 20-ish percent body fat, uh, fat ratio, is 65 kilos of lean body mass. Usually, we calculate the amount of protein you need to build muscle as 1.2 to 1.7 grams per kilo of body weight, but we're doing two times because we're assuming for lean body mass. So that means he needs two grams per kilo of body weight. So 65 grams of lean, uh, 65 kilos of lean body mass means 130 grams of protein per day to increase his muscle mass, assuming he's doing exercise. Each ejaculation produces, oh. on average, five <laughs> mil of semen. I already knew where this is going as soon as we mentioned protein. <laughs> semen, <laughs> semen contains 5,040 milligrams per 100 mil, or 5.04 grams per 100 mil. This means you would need 25.8 times 100 mil, or 2.58 litres of semen. 2.58 litres of semen for that volume of 70% water in average room temperature and humidity would desiccate in approximately three hours. The refractory period for your average man is anywhere between 15 minutes to an hour for men aged 20 to 40, so we can assume 30 minutes on average. But let's be generous and say 15 minutes, because every single man is a sigma male. Since each ejaculation produces 5 mil and you need 2,580 mil, this equals to 516 climaxes in total. Break that up into 3 hours, into 15 minute segments, and that's 12 times a man can come in that time frame. However, we can't assume that just because men have a limited volume, um, they can produce at once. In addition, mineral and protein content will naturally dilate as time goes on too. From various sources, this number can get up to high as four to six times until a man experiences blanks. Let's assume that each man produces up to six within that three hour time frame, consuming enough water and electrolytes, electrolytes to provide sufficient volume. This mean that each man can reliably produce 30 mil of su sufficiently nut nutritious fluid within that three hour time frame. So if we take the 2,580 mil requirement, this means we would need at minimum 86 individual men all going at it into a single vessel within a narrow three hour time period to produce sufficient volume of seminal fluid to meet the protein requirement to build muscle for a man of Red's height and LBM. However, there's another issue, assuming you can keep this concoction down. It also contains calories. There is a single calorie in an average 5 mil ejaculate, which if we total this up to our cum jug volume, this means there will be 516 calories, not too bad. But it also contains trace minerals, specifically zinc. In a single 5 mil, no. there is on average 2, uh, 285,000 nanograms, or 2.85 milligrams of zinc, or 3% of your daily requirement. The daily requirement of zinc is 9.5 milligrams. In total for our jug, there is 147.06 milligrams of zinc, 15, ti 15 times the normal amount. An overdose of zinc is any ingestion of greater than 15 milligrams, thus exceeding our zinc overdose requirement three times. Symptoms of zinc toxicity, the, pa the, the, the pathophysiology of which includes uh, hematemesis, which is vomiting blood, renal injury or acute respiratory distress. However, this is thankfully only present for something like metal fume fever, where over one or two grams of zinc need to be ingested. So basically, you'd be able to do it, but you'd be very, very ill. I had to go to the National Library of Medicine for this shit. 